Hey, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, YouTube. What is going on? How's everybody making out on this uh, fantastic, very brisk, chilly Friday uh, evening? 6.30 p.m. here, and I figured I'd give a check-in and seeing what's going on with everybody out there in YouTube world. And... Well, it prompted me to do this video because I have been carrying this little guy right here that Warthog sent me yesterday. It's this little medium stockman. And um, I got to tell you guys, I have been really enjoying this little piece. And it has escaped me and... I didn't know it existed. Now, I have a few other Remingtons uh, that I had in my collection that I figured, why not do a video and show my Remingtons that I have? Um, it just fell into place, so to speak. But anyway, um, I'm highly recommending uh, this little stockman i mean if anybody's interested in this i heard that gp knives gp knives has these who told me that somebody told me in a comment or a chat last night uh who in the world told me somebody told me but they they do have them check gp knives if you're interested they're 18 i think the person told me they were 18 bucks and it's annoying me that I can't think of who told me that. But there it is. The little Remington Stockman. Great piece. Uh, from Gifted by uh, Warthog. So as we move along. Um, these have not been out in a long, long time. I even forgot about me owning these knives. It's been that long since I have showed these knives. Long time. But let's get into it. This guy here is a pretty cool piece. This is, um, let's take a look around it first. And then I got to look at the box to show you uh, what it is. It's the Remington, it's a 1992, 1992 Remington uh, R1253. That's what it says on the box. But we'll get a look at the Tang stamp when we open it up. It's a very, very big piece of cutlery. But I just want to show you the outside of it first. Uh, like I says, it's uh, the box says 1992 on it. And, uh, well, let's get a look at it. This is a big, big, big piece, guys. Like I said. There's the blade. The blade is really, um, really, really cool looking. Really nice looking blade you've got on there. But let's take a look at the uh, Tang. You've got UMC. I can't, I got to look around the uh, camera here. UMC, made in USA. Remington UMC, made in USA. Here we go. On this side, it's R. One, two, five, three, and the year 1992. If you guys could make that out there, if that will help you with anything whatsoever. The only thing that makes sense to me is the year 1992, but this R1253, I guess that's the model number if you're going to look it up. So, but nevertheless saying all that um it's it's a lock back um i really like this knife it's a it's a pretty good knife it's a big big uh full size knife um and i really like it um it's it's meant for certain chores for sure because it's such a big piece of cutlery you know, it's got, you know, it's meant for specific tasks. I mean, this isn't your everyday EDC knife, uh, which I would assume that, I I mean, if you wanted to carry it, you know, I guess you could. But, um, you know, it's just, uh, 
it, action on it is really nice. Um, everything is really spotless on it. I don't, to be honest with you, I don't even know where I got this from. It's probably been that many years. Um, I can't remember where I got this from. I'm sure I got it on eBay. I think I got it on eBay. And why I got such a big knife like this and... Um, I guess at the time it was appealing to me, you know what I mean? And it still is a very nice knife, you know what I mean? It still is, don't get me wrong. But, I mean, nowadays, what if I gotten something, you know, uh, this, you know, this size? I don't know, maybe, maybe. Um, I don't really know. I mean, I guess it's good for camp. Uh, some good camp tasks, and if I was going camping or, um, you know, I can't really think of too many things, um, you know, that you could really do with it, but it's a very nice looking knife. I'm glad to have it in a collection, and I'm sure I could put it to good use, or I'm sure I could find something to do with this piece, but there you go. Um, moving on, this is the most expensive or it's that other one, that Stockman down there. It's probably this one. This is the most expensive. This is the baby. Uh, show you the box first. This is the Remington. Um, this is the baby bullet. The baby bullet knife. And um, I think that this was a Smoky Mountain Knife ex exclusive. Um made in the USA, um, but it was pretty expensive knife. It was a pretty pricey piece. So let's put that box down and show you the knife. Uh, it is made of some of the finest uh, quality. See, the lighting is just not doing it any justice. It's that time of the night. But the jigging on this thing is just absolutely beautiful. Um, the butt end is flush. You've got a fl flush butt end. Give you a look at the, uh, blades. Now I cut my nail, as you can see right there. I bit my nail too short, as you can see, and it's killing me, my whole thumb. So I'm having trouble, uh, with nail nicks for a few days. But, uh, uh let's get through it. Look at that. So you got a nice, beautiful drop point <clears throat> or spear point blade here. Really, really nice piece. Um, they made this knife just absolutely uh, beautiful. It's a beautiful piece of cutlery. So what else do we have? Let me try and... Then you got this blade here which is really, really a fantastic blade. You've got all this belly for cotton, um, and it's just a great two-blade uh, piece here. You know what I mean? But they made these years ago. They came out with these. I forget what year this is. Uh, the paperwork's in the thing. But I forget um, how many years ago this came out. It's not that old. Um... It's quite a few years old when they came out with this piece, but it is a very, very nice piece. I am very glad to have it uh, in my collection. Um, it's a bigger piece, for sure. Um, it's, got, it's got real nice half stops, um, but I'm going to show you the back up the back spine of it. Very, very nicely uh, constructed there. I mean... Um, you're looking at top quality construction, really, really, um, fantastic construction on this one. This is the baby bullet. And, um, when they first came out, people were going crazy trying to get this, uh, knife. They were going nuts. I just happened to get lucky and I landed one, but I remember, <clears throat> I do remember at the time this was like everybody in creation was trying to get their hands on one of these. It's a, and for good reason. It is a good uh, knife. It is a good knife. So that's that one there. This one, I think that this one is a Smoky Mountain Knife Works exclusive as well. If I can remember, I'm thinking that. 
This is, um, I forget what kind of wood. This is a very exotic wood. I forget the wood they call this, but some really exotic name in the jungles or something like that. Um, but it's a very expensive uh, stockman. Not very expensive, but it's, I think it's over two. I think it's an over $200 uh, knife, Stockman. Um, but let's just show you. Um, opened up and it's uh, all its blades. I want to show you what they look like. And the blade stock on them is really nice and thick. So there's the uh, shot of all three blades open. And... I mean, it really is a beautiful piece. I haven't had this one out in uh, many, I mean, many, many years. But you can see that that is a beautiful knife. That is one of the most beautiful knives that I have. It's just gorgeous, that green with that bullet going. I mean, it's just, it just strikes all the chords for me as far as uh, in the looks department and everything else. I love a Stockman guy. And uh, it's a great piece. But look how thick the stock is on these blades. These blades got very thick stock. Very thick stock. Like it's built like a tank. Look how thick that stock is. Look at that one there. I mean, if it's coming through, it's a bad time of the night for lighting. But the stock is very thick on all three of these blades. Um, but nevertheless, um, just, a, am I'm, I'm just glad to have this one in the collection. I'm very, very glad to have this one in the collection because it is a, um, it's a wonderful knife. It really is. You got slanted bolsters here. Um, this one's all steel. It's got no brass liners in it. It's all constructed as steel. This whole thing is steel. And like I said, I forget the name of the wood, but the wood is some kind of, I don't know, exotic wood and all this other stuff. But um, it's a great, it's a great piece. And uh, I'm glad to have, I'm glad to own it. I'm, I'm pretty glad I, I have this one. And then you close it down and there you go. It's like a, the perfect stockman. If, if you wanted to find like the perfect stockman out there, and you were a Stockman fanatic like myself, this might be close to being the perfect Stockman, really. I don't know, you know, how much better you can, or what you would really want other than this, you know? But just a great piece, guys. <clears throat> and what do I got? Last but not least, I got this mini, uh, th I got this new in box. It's a mini Trapper. Uh, at the time, I don't even know why um, I bought it. It just appealed to me at the time. I think it was the jigging or something. But um, uh, it's just, I'll turn it around to show you. It's just a mini trapper. That's all it is, guys. And the jigging is fantastic on it. You can see real deep valleys in there. I love deep, uh, that deep jigging. But um, there you go, Remington, USA made, Tang on it. They're all USA uh, produced. I forget the year, if I can find it on here. I don't know if it's going to say it. Uh, no, the only thing it does say is R-43. And I'll give you a look at that. R-43. But, um... It's just a nice little uh, mini uh, trapper. And these mini trappers are pretty cool because they fit so uh, nicely into your pocket versus the full-size trappers. It's a big difference. It is a very big difference. This is much, much easier to carry. And um, yeah, it's just a nice piece. Like I said, the jig, the bone. The bone on this is just absolutely fantastic. They cut all this bone really deep, and there's a lot of, lot of nice valleys in this bone. If I can show you that there, really nice, a lot of nice valleys in this bone work here. So that's the mini trapper. 
Fit and finish is just absolutely spot on. No gaps at all. Nothing. Nothing. Uh, they're pretty good. Pretty good make. So that's it. That's all I have to show. And back to this guy again. This is going to go right back in the slip. And we're going to get this right back in um, in the pocket again tomorrow. And I'm, I'm just loving this carry. You know what I mean? It's so easy to carry. And um, it's a good-looking carry. That's the thing. You know what I mean? That's, that, that's what it also comes down to. If you break this out, you'd never know. You would never have a guess. You would, I bet you wouldn't even come close to guessing that this was an $18 knife. I'll bet you'd never know that that was an $18 knife. So, that's about it, guys. There's my Remington knives. Um, yeah. Uh, let me know what you think. And uh, what's tomorrow? Saturday? Oh, I got to do that drawing tomorrow. I forgot about that. Oh, man. Uh, I'll do the drawing tomorrow. Um, tomorrow morning sometime, guys. When I get up, I'll do the drawing for the winner. I'll announce the winner of... Um, of my giveaway and I'll get that out. I'll get that out ASAP. So I forgot. I didn't know realize tomorrow's Saturday already. Whoa. Alright, guys. I'm gonna let you go. Be good, be well, be safe. Drop me that comment. You know I love reading them. And um I'll talk to you tomorrow. Take care, guys. Have a good one.